What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my crazy subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, if not, and you, you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is hashtag glow up for the sign of Gemini. This covers the whole of Gemini, any aspects of your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid heaven, energy of your chart. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. It doesn't apply to apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. Um, hashtag glow up is the positive aspect series to my channel um truth hidden is the negative uh all the secrets and lies and drama and manipulation of people this is a uh, positive aspect so healing growth transformation building up pinnacles etc 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 energy um so just to differentiate between the two series um this is the positive side truth hidden is the negative side um, I hope everybody is doing well. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,655 subscribers right now, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. It helps support a single mama, um, one of her income streams, so thanks so much for all the love and support. I truly, truly, truly appreciate from the bottom of my heart chakra. I do, I do, I do. Who? Um, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Turtle 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. Um, I do not publicly display... Um, your name or how much you donate if you decide to donate or feel guided to donate all donations are confidential okay and if you think anyone else would like this channel please uh, feel free to share my channel very publicly on your social media and word of mouth i very much appreciate it you guys number 37 11 36 or 5 could be very significant numbers in one's life 37 11 36 or 5 it could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to possible ages of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in your life in any shape, form, or fashion, 37, 11, 36, 5. We have fruition, fear, second chakra, archangel, Ariel, which is the solar plexus and attachment. And I did get a channel message as I was meditating on your energy for hashtag glow up for May of 2022. And I heard um, through many series of chain of events, someone's about to get their, uh, their um, reinstated back in a company soon. And through many series of chain of events, someone is about to get terminated. It's about to shock the hell out of you. So you plug it in how it resonates, Gemini. So through many series of chain of events, someone's about to get reinstated back into a company soon. So it sounds like they're cur uh, currently terminated um, or inactive in the company. Um, I feel they're either terminated status in the company or they are just inactive and not employed at the company. Uh, for a lot of these situations, I feel they're terminated because I heard they're about to be reinstated back. So... Um, I feel they might have been terminated, like wrongfully terminated or something. Um, and I heard through many series of chain of events, they will be reinstated back in the company. So it's, it doesn't sound like they're going to get their job back if they were wrongfully terminated, but it does sound like they will be able to move on to other in, within the, uh, the company, like another location or what have you. And through many series of chain of events, somebody's about to be terminated, and I heard it's about to shock the hell out of you. So I think both of these situations might shock the hell out of you or one may shock the hell out of you. However, that plugs in and applies in one's life. Sounds like these two situations uh, run parallel to each other and they coincide and are related for a lot of you guys. For some, they may not be. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug in your own life and situation, how it resonates. Now, one of these situations, one of these messages may apply. Two may apply. Two plus may apply. None may apply. It is a free general reading. So you have to plug the situations in in how they resonate in your own personal life okay fruition upright A particular Gemini was afraid a uh, affair was going on and their intuition is correct. It has come to fruition. Through many series of chain events, it's about to be very, 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 very publicly exposed. Very. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So if this resonates for you, Gemini, you were afraid, you were fearful that an affair uh, was happening, basically. Um, but I heard through many series of chain events, it is, it is happening. If this resonates for you and you feel it is and you know this message is for you it is happening um, um i heard you were fearful it was happening it, i heard it is happening and through many series of chain events it's about basically about being made very 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 public 
So I feel it might be a co-working affair because there's a reason it's about to be made very public or these people might be very public figures. Maybe they are uh, go to church or they go to some kind of religious situation in the community and it's about to be exposed that way or it's a workplace affair or they are committee members in a very public manner and it gets exposed. I mean, somehow they're public figures in some shape, form or fashion. I feel both of them are and they're about to be exposed. Um, you were afraid it was going on, and I heard your intuition is correct, and it is. Um, so if you didn't know that, you plug it in how it resonates. I heard it is in fruition. So they are currently having an affair. Whoever these people are and how they apply, you were afraid it was happening, and you were right. The affair is in current fruition. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. I don't feel it's you in this affair. I feel it's somebody else. Only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. Fear. A Gemini is about to really help someone that is very scared of the dark. They're about to really, really help them get past their fears. You're about to be a real light in this person's life. Well, that's a good one, Gemini. You plug it in, how it resonates. That's beautiful. I heard um, you're about to help somebody. Basically, they're scared of the dark. Now, I feel for some of these people, it might be children. For some, it might be adults. But... Somebody's scared of the dark, whether an adult or a child. I heard through many series of chain events, you're about to help them get through their fear. So you're about to help them get past their fear of being scared of the dark, whether it's an adult or a child. Um, getting past their fear. Um, currently fearful of being scared of the dark. You're about to make it come into fruition and help them get past their fear. You go with your bad self, Gemini. If this resonates for you. So in that aspect, fear is... Um, fearful of the dark, but it's not you, it's somebody else, and you're about to help them get past the fear. That's beautiful. Someone is fearless. You suspected this in the past, but you really know this now, and through many more series of chain events, you're about to learn it. For some, it's a masculine water sign. For some, it's a feminine fire sign. Okay, so they're reverse, fearless. If this resonates for you, I heard somebody is fearless. Um, you suspected it in the past, but through, um, and you your intuition's high and you suspected it, you knew it inside yourself. But it sounds like soon out publicly, or it sounds like publicly it's going to be made known that they're fearless. Um, for some, it's a masculine water sign. For some, it's a thin fire sign. They could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, charts. But they're fearless. They have no fear. Um, I think they live in the moment. They don't mind speaking their mind. They don't mind putting their voice out there to be heard, uh, to be a hopefully a light in the world, or to make it known their feelings on certain person, people, place, or situation is what I'm feeling. Uh, for some, it's a masculine water sign. For some, it's a femme fire sign. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. But it's about to be made known very, very, very publicly soon that they are fearless. Um, and I'm feeling you guys, you might make it known, or you just might be part of the ones that know that they're fearless. For some, you had high intuition and you knew they were fearless in the past. But it sounds like it's about to come to fruition fruition if that resonates for you gemini somehow you are connected to this masculine water sign or this feminine fire sign or you used to be however that resonates second chakra archangel ariel solar plexus i think this masculine water sign and this fem fire sign i think um they not only speak their mind and speak their truth and speak up but i think they also um they like to do, they're very adventurous. I think they're adventurous. 
or they're about to become adventurous. Maybe they're about to do it together for some of these people. Maybe for some, they're going to do it separately. But I feel adventurous energy there with those people. Solar plexus chakra. An omission of guilt is about to become very significant in a Gemini's life. And a court case is about to speed up soon. Okay, I heard an omission of guilt is about to become very significant in a Gemini's life. And a court case is about to speed up soon. So it could be your court case about to speed up soon or somebody connected to your court case about to speed up soon and some kind of omission of guilt energy. It could be you. Um, a mission of guilt energy or somebody you're connected to some kind of a mission of guilt energy however that resonates in one's life but um, the second chakra it controls a lot of things but guilt is one of them so a mission of guilt energy uh, either you emitting guilt or someone else emitting guilt in person people place or situation however that applies in one's life a Taurus is about to come very 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 significant in a Gemini's life very significant Okay, I heard a Taurus is about to become very significant in Gemini's life, very significant. So some kind of Taurus energy about to become very significant in your life, Taurus. I mean, not Taurus, Gemini. You could have Taurus in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in the image of your charts. If that resonates for you, Gemini. Attachment. Through many series of chain events, someone is about to become very, very, very obsessed with the Gemini. A femme Gemini. Oh, Lord. You play in how it resonates. I mean, I don't like obsession. Obsession is scary. Obsession is like psychotic disorders. Um, you know, I'm serious. Um, like, you know, it's fun to hang out with somebody um be around them love to be around them hang out with them spend quality time with them but obsession i think of like freaking a mariah carey song why are you so obsessed with me boy you wanna know no no i don't want anybody fucking obsessed with me like that no nay 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 um because that leads to like crimes and scary shit and um just saying um so i hope this isn't like a scary psychotic obsession is what i'm trying to say gemini I hope to God it's not. Um, for some, I hope it's not. I just hope it's not. I hope it's not. I don't know. All I heard was obsession. Maybe they just really like you and it's not an obsession. Maybe for some, it really is like some kind of psychotic obsession. Only you know you're throwing out anybody else, but I did hear obsession with the attachment card. So hopefully some of you guys don't have to call the damn police or, um, or something of that nature. Um, but I think they're about to become sexually obsessed with you or, Maybe if it's not sexually obsessed, it might be um, um, obsession in um, like wanting to date you or want or want to be frenzies with you or something. Um, I feel relationships should go come naturally. They should form naturally, form naturally in the universe and just let it flow, baby. Attachment and obsession and connected at the hip energy. That's just fucking scary. It's scary. So hopefully you handle this in a very positive copacetic manner feminine feminine gemini um hopefully it's not scary psychotic gotta call the damn police obsession energy um just saying just saying i hope not for anybody's safety i'm just saying oh lord Okay, I didn't hear anything else. I just, somebody needs to be careful, Fem Gemini. Somebody needs to be careful. Um, please be careful, please, for everybody's safety, your safety. And um, just saying, I hope they're not lurking behind the tree or trying to place a hidden camera in your home or tracker on your vehicle or some crazy shit. I'm just saying. Um, please be careful, whoever you are and how this resonates, okay? I love you guys. I hope this helped and namaste.